Hello guys, welcome all of you once again towards the Future Omics Bioinformatics Made Easy YouTube channel. If anybody is new here, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss our least content. So basically today we are excited to share our new tutorial which is about drug designing. So I hope that all of you are aware with the drug designing concepts and it is one of the hot topic area in bioinformatics field. Basically here we are going to see how exactly we can do the step by step process to perform molecular docking using autodock vena where we are going to explore and walk through the step by step guidance how exactly you can proceed for molecular docking by selecting the protein targets of your interest using the PDB database and followed with that we are going to see how exactly we can retrieve the drugs of our interest and once we have both the targets of our interest we can proceed ahead for the performing molecular docking using autodoc vena software followed with that i'm going to show you how exactly you can even download from the link and uh, the step-by-step -step guidance for the installation of autodoc vena is even provided in our channel so kindly visit to the playlist of molecular docking for the same Whereas moving ahead, uh, as you all can see that on the screen, uh, we have launched the PDB database. So in the PDB database, you can search uh, relevant keywords to retrieve the protein of your interest. So I'm going to proceed with the COVID-19 because this is one of the outbreak. And uh, followed with that, you guys can move ahead to retrieve the targets. Okay, covid 19 and once you do that so definitely the pdb database will provide you uh, the list of protein targets of your interest so if you don't know what is pdb database so definitely again the same tutorial is available with the step-by-step -step guidance so i just recommend you guys so please follow that tutorial to understand more about pdb database so once you do that you, you will get certain filters so you can go with homo sapien experimental data and uh, you can filter out the structures to get an extra crystallography you can again make one more filter like a resolution in between a specific threshold so considering the resolution in between this range is probably good structures so you can go ahead and then finally you can even look towards the recent research work that is again one more option you can provide over here and then you can apply the filter once you just apply the filter, you guys can see that the filter out targets will get appear on your screen. So followed with that, you can just select one of the target, which is used for the molecular docking. So again, it's depend and varies like how you are interested to select the target of your interest based on your research aspects, right? So I'm going to take one structure. Uh, with a specific resolution so I am interested to go with this so once I just click on hit button with the four letter code of ID 8DGU right so the simple step is to proceed ahead and download the PDP file format so once we are done with downloading of PDP file format so all can see guys here so you will get the information about the protein PDB ID, the resolution for the same, uh, research paper where you will get a good insights about the target. You will even get to know like how many chains and their uh, docking study has been done. Is there any ligand where the docking has been carried out? So yeah, that is really good reference. And uh, please proceed to download this particular file in PDB format. So there are different file formats are available. If you just scroll down, you will find the list of file formats are there. But to perform molecular docking using Autodoc Vena, majorly we need the PDB. So just click on PDB format. Once you are done with that, you guys can see that uh, the PDB format is get downloaded. So this is about the protein. Now we are going to see that how we can go to download the ligand. And for that, you have to go in the pop game. And as we have uh, retrieved the PDB for 
COVID-19 viral target. The same thing you can do for the lichen. So here I'm going to write viral drugs. Okay. So once I just write the viral drugs, you all of you can see that I got around 32 targets. So scroll down. You can select one of the target from here, the drug. I will just try to find the drug which is having a, a small molecule so that a good docking can be done. So if I just check it out, so based on this, I think this target is pretty good. Just click on that and uh, what you all have to do guys is that you have to go in the 3D coordinates. So try to download the 3D coordinates in SDF. Um, here the file is getting downloaded in the SDF. So I'm going to show you like uh, how exactly you can do the conversion of molecule of uh, ligand from SDF to PDB and how we can convert PDB to PDP3. Okay, because that is a standard file format what we need. So simply click on SDF. Once you do that, you can see that the file is get downloaded successfully. And the simple thing we have to do is to now do the conversions, right? And to do the conversions, you have to open the um, Autodoc Vena for the protein. So first we are going to see how to launch the Autodoc Vena. But before that, if you want to get the Autodoc Vena, uh, if you just in download Autodoc Vena download, you will get the Autodoc Vena download from here based on the different operating system. Um, so you will get the link and the step by step tutorial is get provided in the same channel. So kindly explore with the playlist and the next thing you will get autodoc 4 the same thing you will even get to know with the download format so i just recommend to all of you guys so kindly install this two um, resources it means basically the software to do the molecular docking smoothly okay and um, now moving back with our conversion so once the autodoc vena is successfully downloaded uh, and install so just launch the autodoc vena on your system so once you just launch you can see that it will take some couple of seconds to launch the autodoc vena on your system so kindly be waited for the same and once that is done so you can just open your protein in autodoc vena uh, why we are trying to do that stuff because we have to convert the PDB to PDBQT that is of protein okay yeah so once the um, autodoc vena is done you just click and open the autodoc vena application on your system and the first thing what you all have to do is that you can just uh, open the protein of your interest which we have downloaded right now so you can just click on file read molecule and um, as we are we have downloaded in the downloads folder yes so go in the downloads and open your pdb so this will be my PDB target. As you all can see guys on the screen. Okay. The first thing what you have to do is that go in the edit and delete the water molecule. Fine. The second time you have to go in edit and just go in the hydrogen and add the hydrogen polar only and just click on OK. The third time you have to go and edit again and then you have to click on add charges that is add column charges. This is really important and just click on OK. So three time we have done the edit and we have uh, applied the required information. Next we have to do like uh, we have to go in the grid and say like uh, molecule micromolecule okay and then open okay so go in the grid click
click on micromolecule click on choose and once you just click on choose you guys can see that your pdb ids get reflected over there so select that uh, because we are converting this particular molecule into the pdb qt as you all can see that now it's gets default selected pdb qt simply go in the downloads and you can make a folder for docking and then you can save your uh, protein pdb to pdb qt so this step is called as a protein preparation step okay so we have done with the protein preparation step of autodoc vena to convert pdb to pdb qt now going back with our ligand so for ligand as we have downloaded from pubchem so the one thing what you have to do first is to convert the sdf to first pdb okay once we convert the sdf to pdb then we are going to convert pdb to pdb qt so in that context just load the pymol and um, open your file of stf so this is my stf file so here you guys can see that the stf file of the ligand is available just go and file export the molecule pdb and save so our um, stf is get converted into the pdb just write ligand and save okay so once you just save this the next thing what you can do is to now we are going to see that to open the pdb of ligand how it look like it would get converted properly okay so here is the pdb conversion so yes it's done fantastically okay now what we have to do is to convert the pdb to pdb qt so that is what the step we are going to do now so for that particular purpose again uh, the thing we have to do is that we have to open the autodoc vena and then go in the ligand input and open the ligand which you have converted into the pdb format first so ligand.pdb is there open it yes okay so as you all can see that here the ligand is available fine okay guys so once the ligand is get launched in the autodoc vena the simple thing what you have to do is that click on ligand click on output and simple save in pdb qt so go again in your downloads and save the ligand in the pdb qt simple right so this is also a quick step of the conversion of um, ligand to pdb qt so we have done like uh, saving the file of uh, from sdf sdf to pdb and from pdb to pdb qt okay now we are going to quickly check that all the structures is properly uh, converted or not and for that particular purpose we are going to open the file and then we are going to see the ligand which is get converted accordingly so you can even open the ligand so as you all can see guys now the ligand is get converted into the properly pdb qt so using this particular protein pdb qt and the ligand pdb qt uh, we are going to see in the next half of our tutorial how exactly we can proceed for molecular docking step by step guidance so stay tuned for that um, if you have any kind of queries uh, you can comment below and uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for the same so thank you once again guys